this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at another new Breitling release. This is the new Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 57 part of, as part of a capsule collection, and we're here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, taking a look at this piece. I'll drop a link in the description to their website if you want to inquire about purchasing this watch or any of the other high-end watches in their collection from the brands that they carry. Before I start with this watch, I want to briefly mention that I have a new batch of watches that I designed. This is the Hogan & Mark I Chronograph. It has a very interesting movement. It's a Mecha Quartz hybrid movement. So what that means is that it has a mechanical module, which allows the chronograph to act as if it's a mechanical watch, but it has a quartz oscillator. So as you can see, the chronograph feature here that I just started has a smooth um, seconds hand, and then when you reset the hand, it flicks back, just like a mechanical watch. Now, the watch is priced at $149, which is a very, very good deal for a Mecha Quartz watch. It'll be hard to find one for uh, really anything close to that. So I really wanted to offer uh, an affordable watch that someone that maybe my age would want to wear. Um, another interesting feature of this piece is that it has a case back with a world time scale as well as unit conversions. So I've had a great time designing this watch and making improvements to it after my successful Kickstarter campaign. And I'll be dropping a link in the description if you wanna inquire about purchasing this piece. Definitely make an offer. Um, we're, I Basically I have a new listing and I really wanna get a few sold. So um, that always helps me in the algorithm. So uh, definitely make an offer if you're interested. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening to this little brief commercial. So now back to the Heritage 57. Um, this is definitely one of the most unique watches in the Breitling collection, just given that it looks ex it looks really like an old vintage watch. Um, but it actually has a lot of features that make it um, a very modern watch as well. So it has a, for example, it has a cambered sapphire um, crystal that is glare-proofed on both sides. So what this cambering refers to is the fact that it kind of juts out. It's not, it's, I guess it's kind of domed, but it's, it really looks like an old acrylic crystal from a, uh, say, Rolex Submariner. That's probably the watch that most people are familiar with. Um, so it really looks like a vintage crystal, but again, it's sapphire, so it's totally scratch-proof. The bezel itself is scratch-proof as well because it's a ceramic bezel, and uh, it's a concave ceramic bezel, so it goes inward toward the dial. Uh, it's a very unique design. You do not see it on a lot of watches at all. Um, and the bezel action itself is actually fairly unique. It does not click at all. It just smoothly glides around the dial, but it is still <laughs> fairly hard to turn. So you definitely could, you could securely uh, time things with the bezel. The movement inside the watch is an ETA-based movement. It has a power reserve around 38 hours. Um, and for a watch in this price range, that is kind of expected and from a brand that's premium and uh, of a case of this quality. Um, and the watch itself costs four thousand six hundred thirty dollars. Uh, for the quality you're getting, I think that's a, that's a very good deal. Uh, the only good, the only thing that they could improve is again having a in-house uh, movement. But again, the quality of the case, in my opinion, makes up for that. Definitely in spades. Uh, so the case itself is forty-two millimeters, and the widest part of the case is the bezel, so you don't really feel the. Uh, width of the case on your wrist. Uh, it's a, it's much uh, thinner on your wrist, or sorry, less wide on your wrist. Um, so I'll move on to a wrist shot here. And this watch also carry, uh, comes with a uh, mesh bracelet, so keep that in mind. And it's available on NATO straps, and you can really customize your bra bracelets with Breitling's uh, website, so, um, and in Breitling stores like Continental Diamond. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. So I'll put this guy on the wrist. So as you can see, the bezel is the widest part of the watch. So the watch itself is much, much smaller. So you don't really feel that on your wrist. It's very comfortable. Um, there's really nothing to get caught on your uh, arm hair or anything like that. So it's, it's again, an extremely comfortable watch. Uh, it's a great daily wear. It's not really a high, hardcore dive watch, even though it's inspired from a dive watch. Um, it's just more to have a watch that has a lot of vintage appeal and it looks extremely nice. You could definitely dress it up um, and I would highly recommend the watch. So if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and remember to like, subscribe, and share and hit the notification bell. Also check out Continental Diamond's um, website in the description as well as the link to the watch that I personally created, the Hogan & Sons Mark I Chronograph. Thanks for watching.